Hey guys, what's up? Serena here from thriftdiving.com. So my laundry room is a hot mess. And about several weeks ago, I said to my readers, to my viewers, look, let's do a laundry room makeover challenge. We're just gonna refresh it up. Like we're not gonna do a 30 day, we're gonna do like a 15 day. So I'm down to the wire, it's day 12 and I only have a few days left. I really wanna walk into this room and feel like it's nice, it's clean, it's, it's a place where I want to come in and do laundry, but it has not been that for quite a long time. So in this video, I'm gonna be cleaning out these cabinets some of these I've already gotten started with, but there's still just a ton of stuff that I don't really know where to keep. I've been storing paints here. I come in and I clean my paint brushes here in the sink, and then I just leave it. And I've got, you know, paint thinner. I've got paint brushes drying. It, it's just, it needs some organization and it just needs to be cleaned. Stick with me because in this video, you're gonna to get to see my organization and how it all comes together and you're gonna to get to see everybody else's and their makeovers in their laundry. So stick with me, cause we're gonna do this right now. So this is what my laundry room looked like before I started this mini refresh makeover. Please tell me what's wrong with this picture. There should not be a container of bleach sitting out on my dryer and there shouldn't be a container of laundry detergent there on the floor. Not when you've got kids in the house, grandkids, or people that might have dementia. So I teamed up with the American Cleaning Institute. They're actually sponsoring this mini makeover and we are trying to let people know you should keep your packets up and away from kids. So we're gonna be focusing on that for this challenge, but also we're trying to organize this, make it pretty, but keep it safe for everyone in the home. So let's jump into this makeover and the other makeovers right now. Usually this is the cabinet that I keep all of my cleaning towels in and <laughs> it usually looks like this, all jumbled up. But I want something that's clean, organized, where you can just sort of pull something out, grab a cleaning towel and you know, when you open it up, it's not all jumbled. So thankfully I went to the dollar store and I got some really cute organizers for a dollar. So we're gonna fold them Marie Kondo style and have it look a little bit more organized. I pulled everything out of the cabinet over top of the washer and dryer and I wanted to put it into two separate categories, one for cleaning supplies and then the other one for laundry detergents. Now the thing is these $1 containers, they were great but they were a little flimsy. So later you will see that I replaced them with something which is a little bit more structure from the home goods. And I put it back up there. I did not paint the inside. I did not feel like doing that. Underneath the cabinet, I keep a lot of paints, a lot of supplies that again, shouldn't be there, including Clorox, not a good idea. So that was going up in the cabinet and we were cleaning this out in the closet. Okay, so now that the closet is cleaned out, I cleaned out underneath of the cabinet here. We are ready to do some steam machining of the sink. This is where I wash all my paintbrushes and it gets really nasty. But before we do some steam cleaning, I wanna show you something here that I have next to my washer. Seriously, guys, you have to get these. These are leak detectors and it's not one of the fancy ones. They do have leak detectors out where if there is a leak, your phone will actually text you. <laughs> these ones will actually just make a noise. So I've got a couple of them here sitting next to my washer. If for any reason it starts to leak, these things will go off. So I will show you very soon um, after we do the cleaning how these actually work. They're pretty good. And uh, ooh, gosh, ooh. It's dusty and dirty back there. Ugh, I don't wanna clean back there. I don't know what I'll find. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started cleaning the sink. One of my favorite tools for cleaning is definitely my steam machine. I mean, it's perfect for laundry rooms, sinks, toilets. I mean, really, I've even used it to clean the upholstery in my car. So if you've never used one of these, you gotta check it out. There's some links down below. And I also used it to clean my washing machine too. Just all those little cracks where you can never reach when you're wiping it down. So I'll admit that I am not good about cleaning behind my washer and dryer. So I did pull it out, vacuumed it, cleaned it, and then just sprinkled a little bit of diatomaceous earth. This is a natural insecticide, so I generally like to keep some here behind for ants or spiders. You'll notice here behind the wall that I don't have any floor trim and that is what I still need to do in this laundry room. Now I'll admit, I put this floor down about five years ago and my husband, he just continues to say, look, when are you gonna finish the floor? So I did try to finish the floor for this mini makeover, but I'm not totally done yet. I used my miter saw, cut a few pieces of PVC cord around and then used a brad nailer, secured them, put a little bit of wood filler, and then painted them. 
And isn't it funny when you find something in your cabinet, you're like, I didn't even know I had this. Well, this cute little octagon mirror from the thrift store, got a fresh coat of paint, had it for probably three or four years, and I added some knobs to the closet doors, and then was just ready to hang it on the wall and it looked really good. So this is what the containers look like that I replaced the other ones with, and they had a little bit more structure and they were cuter. Now, I opened up the cabinet, put on the cling. Remember, we're trying to remind people with visual reminders to keep all of those detergents, packets, cleaning supplies up high on the shelf. And now it was time to look at the before and after. So again, this is what it looked like before, and this is what my laundry room looks like now. I simply adore this. It feels less stressful walking in there. And when I go into the cabinet, I at least have everything organized in such a way so I know exactly where things are. Now this laundry table was actually a kitchen table that I split in half and mounted to the wall. Look at the legs. The legs actually have a lot of scratches because of the metal baskets. Well, for the makeover, I just cleaned up the legs with a fresh coat of paint, got some cloth baskets, and I still need to freshen up the paint on top of the laundry table, but that'll come in time. This closet was a mess, and now we've got a clean sink, we've got a clean floor, and a clean closet. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep it this way. I definitely got to get my family's participation. And I think when I'm done with projects, I need to just clean up the sink and not leave all of my paintbrushes here in the sink. And the closet definitely is fresher. I can reach in there and store some cleaning supplies in there, buckets, extra baskets, and overall, I love this. But remember, this is not just me doing this makeover. We have other people. And we're going to get this kicked off with Carol. Now Carol's before pictures are on the left, her after pictures are on the right. You can see she's got some bleach stored down below and in her after pictures she's got things rolled up nicely, containers and everything is cleaned up. Well done Carol. Now I love Casey's makeover here. She's got some new flooring, she's covering up the wall and this is a great way to organize your detergents by category. She's got adults, kids and I love the lost and found. And if you've got a space like Connie's, use the walls. Get some decorative baskets. You can find them really cheap at the thrift store for storage. Damaris has a lot of clutter on her flat surfaces, like I did as well. So for her makeover, she cleaned up, put things away, and I think it looks nice. All right, I love Derica's room. Now, she complained about this paneling. She wanted to paint it but I think it looks like a really nice accent wall and it looks cozy in here. And I'm gonna steal her idea of hanging up these mops and brooms and things on the back of the door. Great idea, great storage system, and I love the, the pictures that she put over top of the wall. And Denise's laundry room is my favorite. The color just makes me happy. I wanna go in there and just put a chair and read a book. So I said, Denise, what color is this? And she shared it with us. It's buttery willow. So definitely get this color if you like it. Now she was trying to figure out what to do with her dryer. It had some scratches, but with a little bit of appliance paint, look at that, you can't even tell. So if you've got this problem, definitely get some appliance paint because it works. And if you wanna keep things fun, do what Diana did. So when you do all your folding and your cleaning, add a light switch cover, something that's fun, something that'll make you smile when you turn on the lights. And I can identify with Gina's laundry space because this is what I do. The dirty laundry ends up all over the floor. But when it's cleaned up, this looks like an entirely different space. Well done. Now, Kelly's laundry room is another one of my favorites because the paneling looks completely different with a nice coat of black paint. And look at that little stencil she did. That's a hand-painted stencil. And, you know, I have to agree with her. I think the laundry sucks. <laughs> I love that sign. And Kirsten had the problem most of us do, where the top of the washer and dryer becomes storage. So she cleaned all that up and cleaned out the cabinets. And this cutie here is Henry. Now, Christy said, I don't have children, but I do have a Henry. And he will go crazy when he sees things outside the window. So although she doesn't have kids, she wants to keep her laundry detergents up and out of the way so that he doesn't knock them over. I like how she organized them and the pictures are a great touch over her washer and dryer. Letty did a lot of folding over top of her laundry sink, but here's one thing that I love that she did. She actually added decals to her sink and cleaned it really good and added some decals to her washer and dryer. Now, where did she get that dispenser for her laundry detergent? I'm gonna have to find out. Renee had some good organization over top of her washer and dryer, but she just needed to clean up a little bit. Now, it's amazing what an accent wall can do in some decluttering. Terry did an amazing job. 
And Teresa was like, well, my laundry room is boring, but it's not boring anymore. And I like that little thing hanging there that says, keep the change. That's a nice touch. And Yashika didn't want her laundry detergents on the floor anymore either. So she moved them up high, put her stickers to remind her to keep it up high, and added contact paper to the shelves. I love this blue color, this pop of blue in Yvonne's laundry room. She's got everything up high on the shelf, and because she's got a lot of people in the home that she needs to keep out of this area, she actually installed a keypad. This is a great idea. So remember, laundry room makeovers are not just about making things pretty, it's really about making them safe as well for your home, for your family. So remember, always store your laundry packets up and out of reach, and you wanna keep them in their original container, so don't store them in, you know, DIY containers, you definitely want to keep them in the original packaging and always close it before and after you use it. All right, so you can always order your own cling from American Cleaning Institute and you can find that information down below and you can find me at Thrift Diving and come back again because we always have great things that we're doing here with me, with my readers, with my viewers, and I will see you next video.